Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another IT tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be uh, look, taking a look at how to use a power strip or a surge protector uh, and convert it into a smart uh, surge protector so we can control it uh, with uh, uh, Alexa. So before I get into it, uh, please check out my channel for um, other videos um, for Raspberry Pi or um, Node MCU and ESP8266. I have a bunch of different ones. My list is growing <clears throat> as requests are coming through, so I'm adding more and more. So your um, suggestions and feedback is always uh, welcome and appreciated. And thank you. So let's take a look at it. What we're going to be doing today. So. And the idea is basically um, I have a lot of um, uh, power cords or surge protectors around the house and uh, all the devices that are hooked up to it there's no really way to go turn it on and off unless you physically unplug it or plug it back even um, when you turn off the devices um, they still have a standby mode it using the electricity so I was trying to figure out how I can you know manage to control each of the outlets or maybe the entire strip at a time and turn it on and off so this way minimize the energy consumption <clears throat> so I mean if you start um, taking a look around the house and you're probably gonna end up with the 30 to 50 items that are hooked up different adapters and all this stuff um, with the, from your cell phone charger to your TVs to uh, you uh, name it so the idea is to take uh, these um, this uh, I have this uh, bot uh, the surge protector um, on sale so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, um, put in two uh, solid state relays and control each of the columns separately I wanted to do it each uh, outlet individually but it would take too much time for doing this tutorial so I'm going to show you how to do this control on each side so this way uh, you get the idea if you want to control the entire um, uh, thing individually by itself you can do that so for this tutorial we're going to need Amazon um, dot or echo um, um, ESP8266 we can't use node MCU unless you have a big power strip you can fit it in there but you're gonna need the plain chip uh, micro USB cables uh, two solid state relays since I'm gonna put one on each of the columns uh, they're two uh, rated for two amps so anything totaling two amp on this can be uh, controlled or the load you can put on a totaling 2 amp cannot exceed more than that. Um, <clears throat> there are some uh, solid state relays. They're small enough. They can fit in here. They're up to 5 amp. Uh, you're going to need to do a little bit soldering. So you need a solder iron and some flux and resin. And um, uh, you need a DC to DC buck step down or converter. Um, and make sure you um, select a, well if you already have one and it doesn't have the USB uh, ports in it then you would have to use one of the DC to, uh, AC to DC converters <clears throat> so since I bought one with this to show you how it e easy it is so you don't need the extra power supply since the, the 5 volts is already available so I'm going to use this buck converter to convert from 5 volt to 3.3 um, .3 volt so I, I order a bunch of these, they're pretty small, they're cheap too, um, and uh, it has a variable uh, potentiometer or resistance, you can control it, so input could be, I mean, I'm not sure if a 12 volt or it goes above, so you can put, and then you can adjust it, your output, so I adjust it to 3 point something, uh, so I will always get that uh, voltage, so it is um, good enough for the ESP8266. So let's see how we're going to hook it up. So <clears throat> I open up the, um, the surge protector. So if you look at it, it has um, uh, three columns on each side. So one is this uh, is um, ground. And the black wire, you probably can't see it. I will show you once I have it on the other camera. But uh, this black one goes in and it gets connected to the hot. This is hot wire. Um, the white one is uh, for the um, neutral and the green one is ground so same thing on the other side too so this is ground so which is the green wire hooked up to the ground the white one is neutral 
and then the underneath it uh, you can't see um, it's it's um, there it's a, um, a black wire that is hot and on this side you can see uh, uh, um, AC to DC um, um, power supply it converts it and these are your two USB ports so the way the uh, we're gonna hook up the, our um, solid state relays is that we're gonna uh, unsolder this black wire from this strip excuse me and solder it to a uh, number two pin on this side in AC and then take a wire and solder it here and solder it back to where we unsoldered the black wire on this side and we're going to do the same thing on the other side on this side the positive will go into the GPIO 4 and on this side the positive will go into the GPIO 5 and uh, both ground will connect to the same ground as the <clears throat> ESP is connected to and uh, let's go to the next slide so how we're going to power up the um, uh, ESP8266 is pretty easy so to power up the ESP you need to make sure the uh, GPIO 15 in the ground is connected and also EN and VCC needs a 3.3 volt or um, around there to uh, function so this DC to DC converter we're gonna take this 5 volt uh, power supply that is coming out to the uh, board and going into the USB I'm gonna try to solder the wires here so this is a positive this is a negative right on the, there's a metal part here I'm gonna try to uh, solder it there so I'm gonna <clears throat> connect uh, um, negative from here to their negative underneath the board they're labeled uh, in and out and uh, positive and negative so uh, I already know and I'm gonna uh, solder the wire here from positive to positive and then 3.3 or 7 volts will come out of here so this uh, positive will connect to the positive here and a negative to the ground here and that will power up uh, our ESP8266 um, so I'm not gonna go through flashing the code and all that stuff you can uh, probably see my previous videos that how I do set up I created a let me show you. <clears throat> uh, if you wanna know how to create a jig for ESP8266 uh, E12, uh, you can take a look at this tutorial, at uh, tutorial number nine. I show you in detail how to create this jig. Mm, and I've actually used this jig for multiple projects here, uh, for a garage door opener to three-way switch, and um, also um, some other uh, um, uh, automation projects so okay guys so here's a sketch uh, that we're gonna flash um, to our ESP8266 so I'll include the link uh, in the video description below uh, you just go in there and uh, download this sketch and uh, flash it so I just uh, finished uh, f flashing um, this sketch into the um, ESP8266 um, so this sketch is a little bit different with most of them out there that I have done before on this one you don't have to do anything you uh, flash the sketch as is you could go to your cell phone and you can configure your SSID and password unlike previously you had to hard code it and change it no longer you have to do this so let me show you how to um, configure your ESP or node MCU uh, using your cell phone so we're gonna go ahead and um, go to our <clears throat> Wi-Fi setting on the screen. Um, um, you set this up same way for the Android and um, iOS. <clears throat> so as you can see um, on my phone, um, I have connected already to my home network, but underneath it, you see NetMedia's AP. And uh, this is the... Uh, um, ESP8266 uh, or Node MCU, whatever you're using, and since it can't connect to the network, so it's gonna start um, access point locally on it and let you configure your SSID and password. So you select this and you say connect to it, and it's gonna try to connect uh, to the uh, um, uh, NetMedia's AP. Mm -hmm. which is ESP so now it's connected so now if you go in there 
you're going to see this and you will see the manage router um, uh, in here uh, and it has the IP address you need to click on it so once you click on it it's going to give you this screen so so you click on configure Wi-Fi select that option and once you do it's going to list all of the available Wi-Fi you select the one you want to connect to so I already selected the AD42 um, suddenly and it pre-fills the password because I previously did it for the other one so it does it so I'm gonna go ahead and click save and that is it if your password and your um, SSID is correct and it's able to connect and if you go back um, on your access point thingy Wi-Fi thingy and you will no longer see the uh, NetMedia's uh, AP there because uh, the AP is only available if it cannot connect to your router. So since it's connected, you will not see it here anymore. But if for some reason password changes, your router is down, it will show up here again and you can go ahead and enter your SSID and password. So no more um, hard coding of the SSID and password into sketches. So let's get started. So I'm gonna open this up and then we're gonna go through uh, what uh, each side is. So I'm gonna explain it. And so on this side, <clears throat> basically the search protection circuit is there. So each of the column right here, if you see, uh, the uh, this white one, uh, white cable that is um, attached to this uh, metal plate is the um, neutral. Uh, the green one is the uh, ground and the black one underneath you see right here is the hot one same thing hot the black one is hot on this side and the green one is the ground and then the white one is the uh, neutral so the um, what we're going to do here is uh, so I'm going to explain it as I explain it in the uh, um, PowerPoint so <clears throat> a couple of things so how we're gonna um, there are two things how we're gonna hook up our relay so first I'm going to explain. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to unsolder this black wire from here and unsolder this black wire from here uh, and solder it to our um, the solid state relay. And uh, um, this is we're going to solder to and then we're going to take a small piece of wire and solder it from here uh, back to where we unsoldered the black wires from it's from here and from here so one one uh, solid state relay we're going to use for this side and one for this side i want to control the entire column with the single solid state relay um, just to make sure uh, that i'm using the two amp ones uh, so all this stuff you put it in here it doesn't exceed 2 amp uh, there are um, solid state relay available for 5 amp and 10 amp so you can use those instead uh, but this is just for the tutorial so I'm doing that okay so for the ESP to hook up um, I'm gonna be using um, this board power supply so this is right there is uh, this is 5 volt uh, this is positive this is negative so I have other ways of um, uh, um, converting down the um, uh, voltage but I want to keep it simple uh, this is very small I mean as you can see uh, the DC to DC converter uh, I'm not sure what the input range is but I think it goes up to 12 but it can convert up to a different uh, size because it has a variable um, uh, potentiometer here or resistance whatever you call it and it has labeling on the back, uh, very nice. Um, you know, uh, this is the input and this is the output. So this is where you put in your DC voltage. So basically positive, negative. So, uh, so I'm gonna connect uh, wires from here, uh, from here and connect it to in on both sides in a positive, negative and then output will go to our the ESP um, uh, board 
So this is what I was talking about. Um, you guys can check out my tutorial how to create this jig. Uh, it's very convenient because I have a lot of uh, ESP8266-12 versions. So I this is already flashed. So I'm going to show you how to uh, put that into the um, thing there. So what I did is I used so I use a credit card and I cut it up a size that fits into the middle of this um, this thing right here. If I can fit it like that. So it's going to fit and I'm going to put a double sided tape on the ESP8266 and stick it there. Uh, so before I do that I'm going to of course put the wires on it and everything and connect it so let's do that so what I did is I took a double sided tape I put it on the back of the um, solid state relay and keeping the AC side on this side and DC on this side and I stick it to this plastic column so I'm going to do the same thing for the other one so I um, soldered the VCC and pin from the back with the wire and connected the ground and uh, I believe GPIO 15 um, with the, the soldering. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, get this uh, chip prepared to be installed. So I got the double sided tape um, put on the chip. It's pretty small. And now what I need to do is uh, start soldering the wires. So hey guys, um, I got the um, this chip prepared. So let me show you what I did uh, so I put it in a black wire soldered here um, red wire here and one yellow and white one so this one is a GPIO 5 and a GPIO 4 for each relay that gets connected so okay guys so I got um, this set up almost done so uh, what I did is um, I took a piece of plastic like a credit card and cut it off and I stick um, the ESP8266 comb inside and put uh, wires on it <clears throat> as I showed you earlier but then what I did is I do took a DC to DC uh, converter and I stick it on the back side of this and provided the uh, you know, power uh, as you can see this um, positive going on the other side to power up the ESP on the both side and then this will go into the um, actual um, uh, power supply uh, of the, um, the surge protector power supply so let's this get installed okay let me see if you can focus in so I already uh, applied some of the flux and stuff in here so it'll be easy to connect it so I'm going to put this in here nicely, it fits it in, you can see it fits in nicely, it doesn't touch anything, it's between the two plastic columns, so it doesn't touch anything else. So now I'm going to uh, connect these two wires here, um, the red one to a red one and a black one to the black one, so black one soldered and goes to there and the red one here and goes to there and it's powered up. So it's pretty neat. There's enough room in there to do. Okay, so now we got these two wires <clears throat> and we're going to solder one on this side on the positive. I'm not sure if you can. <clears throat> so this will go into this positive pole and the other one will go into the positive pole on the other uh, relay. And I'm going to take a one wire, black wire, and I'm going to ground these both um, back here on um, back to the power supply or something okay guys so I'm back I had a little bit of trouble so let me um, I finished this so let me show you what I did so you already saw that we put the ESP 8266 and DC to DC converter we hooked it up here uh, positive negative I took a, a, another purple wire negative and I put it on to the um, the um, uh, the relay on negative here and same wire goes underneath and they're going to connect it here I did a pretty sloppy job here I was having trouble connecting it I'll probably fix it later 
and just so I want to finish this tutorial. <laughs> so uh, the issue, I, uh, there was an issue I ran into. So my ESP was not turning on. So I didn't realize that the when you turn off the power on this uh, circuit protector, the power gets turned off, and this uh, power supply is getting the power from these uh, connectors. So what I did is I uh, unsoldered the wire from here, and I uh, put another. Uh, wire into it soldered it and put a tape on it and then I ran it all the way down and they connected here and That's why you see this sloppy thing Alexa Discover devices Starting discovery this will take up to 20 seconds if you haven't already Please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app So you should see um, Also, I'm gonna refresh this page once it discovers it it's going to list these so you can see line one line two it discovered so i found one new plug called line one to control it say turn off line one i'm not sure why it's saying one because it did discover both of them um so what are we gonna do i'm gonna plug in these uh night lights i have a couple of them and we're gonna control them so we can uh, show you that this works so okay you guys can see these lights are on so I'm gonna give a command and then one by one I'm gonna turn it on and off so Alexa turn off line one okay Alexa turn on line one okay Alexa turn off light line two okay Alexa turn on line one Okay. Alexa, turn on line two. Okay. So there we go, guys. Uh, smart search protection. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Until next time, bye.